Hello, welcome to C Programming and this is Shaji. Today we are going to see a small and simple C program. Um, in this program we are going to see how a decimal number can be converted into its equivalent binary number. So I hope you are aware about the number systems of binary and decimal. In the decimal number system there are 10 symbols 0 to 9 and the combinations of the symbols 0 to 9 makes different numbers in the decimal number system. But in the case of binary number system there are only two symbols those symbols are 0 and 1. We have only these two symbols 0 or 1 and we have to make the combinations of 0 and 1 to make the numbers in this number system. The binary number system is used in the computer systems or the digital devices. The decimal number systems which we are using in our daily life. So, in uh, some kind of programming, especially the assembly language programming and all, we may be using these binary numbers. And sometimes even in the C language programming or in the graphic programming, we are using binary numbers. So let us see how to convert a binary number to, sorry, a decimal number into a binary number system. Okay, let us see the concept here. Suppose if I have a number, uh, 30, for example, if you want to convert this 33 is in uh, decimal number system, and we want to convert this one into its equivalent binary number system. Let us see how to do it. Mm, this is the decimal number 33 and when this is just for an example let us see how this is first of all we have to divide the number we have to divide the number 33 by 2 so we will get 16 and we will be having a remainder 1 so we have to keep the remainders here and again if you divide 16 uh, with 2 we will be getting 8 and in this case there won't be any remainders so that means the remainder is 0 again 8 if you divide a 8 with 2 we will get 4 and the remainder is again 0 and again divide 4 with 2 we will get 2 here remainder is 0 and again if you divide 2 with 2 it comes 1 times and again the remainder is 0 here and if you put all these numbers from this bottom one to top then we will get its binary equivalent from here the last one to this we have to write then we will get its equivalent binary number that is 1 0 0 0 0 1 this is a binary equivalent of the decimal number system or if you have a number 33 if you want to represent 33 in the binary format it should be written in this way 1 0 0 0 0 1 this number is 33 if it is represented in binary terms. So this is the procedure. We have to divide the number. Keep dividing until we reach uh, the number which is less than 2. So that means further it cannot be divisible again. So we have to divide, keep on dividing and we have to take off the remainders from the number uh, after dividing 2 and collect all the remainders in the uh, in this way that means the the last remainder will be the MSB most significant bit and the first remainder obtained will be the LS least significant bit if we, if we put this number in this order this is the binary equivalent let us program how to implement the C program for doing this one okay uh, we have to include the header files as include 
is gdio dot h of course we have to do some scan of print of operations for getting use input and displaying the output again hash include conio dot s conio dot s yeah, just for using uh, clrs cr gets let all those functions for making the screen better usability and we have the main function the starting for end of the c program and here we can declare some variables uh, some integer variables in d comma i so the variable i am using to uh, read the input from the keyboard from the user that number to be converted into binary and i am using uh, some more variables the okay, one variable i am giving pause and another variable is b so b is the one which is used to store the binary equivalent after conversion pause and pause uh, the variable pause i am using uh, to store pause is used to do some intermediate calculation and i am initializing the value of pause as one i suppose there is no need of i in case we will declare it okay these are all the variable declaration some variable uh, integer type and some variable in the floating point type floating point type it is used because i wanted to store a little bigger values here in this variable pos and b the number of uh, bits used in a binary system will be more than that of the decimal because there are more possibilities of symbols in decimal number system but in the case of binary number system the possibilities are less we can use only two symbols rows and ones so the number of positions of representations will be more that's why i'm using flock here in this number so declaration is finished now we can go for clr scr to get the screen the screen also got cleared let us print print f the usual way we can give a message enter enum so the user will get a message that user should enter a value to be converted into binary and to read it read the value which is entered by the user we have to use a scan of and i am going to read a value of integer type percentage d comma i am going to read the value to a or a's memory location so i am using ampersand d uh, okay the reading is done Okay, I'm going to use a loop because I want to keep on divide the values many times until the value is just one or zero. So I have to keep on divide the value so many times. But I don't know how many times it should be divided. That depends upon the size of the number which is inputted. So here do I have variable b? So we will be having some value. and the value being updated with b plus and pos this is a variable and which is having a value of 1 okay i want to initialize this b as well i am giving so so initial value b is 0 that zero value will be added with the update value pos into d uh, divided by 2 so i want to find the remainder of this division so pos into d divided by 2 so the value of b is getting updated after dividing this d with 2 and getting the remainder and that is being multiplied with the pos and every time i want to Pos plus equal to ten. 
every time I want to okay I'm sorry pos into equal to so every time I want to multiply the pos with 10 or this statement is equal to pos equal to pos into 10 both are same if you want you can use this way of assignment or this one whichever you find comfortable that way you can use this assignment so every time every uh, execution of the loop the post value is getting multiplied by 10 and after taking one remainder I want to eliminate the number from the back so I am going to update the value of D D divided by equal to 2 or this can be given as d equal to d divided by 2 so both are same this is a shorthand notation d divided by 2 equal to 2 and now I can close the loop do loop so the do loop will end with a while and here I have to give the condition and what should be the condition the value of d is greater than 0 so if the value of d is greater than 0 then it will again go back and continue with the do otherwise it will come out so after that I can print uh, sorry and f what to print okay the value is in the variable b value is in b so okay i'll put a slash in for a new line and i want to print it in the b is in the floating point type so i'm going to use floating point representation without any leading zero so i'm going to use zero dot f so there won't be any leading zeros but only the value will be printed here if you are using this percentage and get ch to make the user screen stable under you press a key so i suppose the program is done and it's okay let me try it control f9 there is one other illegal use of using floating point okay okay first of all let me clear the let me try to clear the error then we will discuss what was the error control f9 yeah now it's okay it's working so i'm going to give the value 33 32 33 yeah yeah, we got the same value which we have done and found 1 0 0 0 0 1 okay this is the binary equivalent of the decimal number 32 if you want to test some other value I'm going to six give 64 there will be a 1 and a number of zeros that is 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 this is the equivalent of 64 control F9 if I'm giving 1 the equivalent will be 1 itself if I'm giving 2 the equivalent will be 1 0 if I am giving 3 the equivalent will be 1 1 if I am giving 4 the equivalent will be 1 0 0 if I am giving 5 as input then it will be 1 0 1 if I am giving 6 it will be 1 0 1 0 sorry 1 1 0 sorry if I am giving um, 7, it will be all ones, 3 ones, 1, 1, 1, 1, yeah. Okay, let us see what was the error in the previous case. If you don't give the bracket here, it will give an error. And the error was 